Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh. Wait a second. Why is that loud? Am I recording this? Oh, I guess I am. Hello, folks. Welcome back. We're on the one, the only Hobo Tom. And first of all, before I get into any wrestling news, yes, I had to be clean shaven. Um, I have a new job tomorrow. That's always good. I have this whole list to go through. And then I have just the basic normal wrestling stuff. But first of all, I do have to say thank you. Thank you to all those who watched my first kind of real jump back into live stream pro wrestling. Um, it was the Impact Rebellion show. Um, a lot of people were chatting with me. A couple of comments, I think. Um, first of all, I always have to shout out to Sonny Bimbo. Again, the, the Ric Flair of the always underweight belt here in the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. But now, if I look distracted, it's because I am doing, trying to get multiple things done multiple ways while trying to figure out my own darn handwriting. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's see here. Let's start off here. I'm just going to go down my list of thank yous. The Reverend Wells, you serve very quickly on your way to becoming a member of the Daytona Beach Bone Fight League. I don't know. First, you have to beat that six count. Leg Sweep 98, you are a master of the air guitar.
Kendo 720. You're just chilling out. Your briefcase boombox. Akumanjo, you can crawl out of here. Ace! Are you the ace? The man with the crowd please voice of wrestling from, yeah, banging too many women. Smoking too many cigars. You know what? One thing I learned in my long career, part of being the ace crusher, I learned to win, or and you learned to win, by dirty pin. Then the absent one. Yes, you know there's a special place for you in the El Generico band. Mr. Tofu, holy sit. Zoom V2, you sir are a man of taste and distinction, so you know that Jordan has back. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Mad King, you, you have the same status as that luchador on the forklift. Paul Cortez, you sir are experiencing 
Mundo Madness. And then base Kotov, you know that Natalia is superior. Those are all the thank yous I have to give out. Gee, I haven't done that in a good while. So this video is going to be a little bit extra long, especially in the front heavy. I mean, front heavy, that's okay. Oh, that's why. I wonder why I was so quiet sounding. Yeah, um... Then I have to give my impact results. I did not do good. They had a lot of belts change hands. Eddie Edwards did not go against Jonathan Gresham. He won against Chris Bay. Eddie Edwards won anyway. I don't know if they have the influence versus the inspiration. Um, the tie of Valkyrie, I got that match right. Well, hey, oh, Ishii won. That's right. Tie of Valkyrie is the uh, Regina de Reyes, Triple A Women's Champion. Josh Alexander, I guessed correctly, he did defeat Moose. Uh, Rosemary defeated Tasha Steeles. The Field lost to Violent by Design. Violent by Design was the last tag team. Trey somehow retained his. Championship. No, I got that wrong. Ace Austin won. Yeah, that's right. Ace Austin won. Natasha Steele's retained her championship. What am I saying? Yeah, Violent by Design retained theirs. Ace Austin won the X Division. Um, Steve Macklin won in the three way between uh, Jay, the Switchblade. The Switchblade. Because he's too sweet. For life. Um, yeah, it's Jay White. Again, I already showed Bullet Club stuff. Versus Steve Macklin versus Chris Sabin. Steve Macklin won. Yeah, no, that was a really good match, though. Uh, Eddie Edwards and Chris Bay. Eddie Edwards won. Yeah, I did not do good in guessing those matches. Oh, Theory versus Balor? Probably Theory Mustafa. That's okay. Not dropping that belt anytime soon. Yeah. All right. Those house matches might as well be set. So I'm not too bad with that. So you know what? That was a f fun match. Fun card. I'm just an ordinary mark, though. Let's take a quick little break from thank yous. Well, let's get straight to Monday Night Raw. Let's see if I can do this video in about 20 minutes. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that we've kind of seen before. It started the first 20 minutes. A uh, uh, riddle said, Randy Orton, this is your life. Well, no. Thankfully, he didn't do a Randy Orton, this is your life thing. Um, this kind of was a celebration of Randy Orton, 20 years in the WWE. That's pretty impressive. I wish I could have been at the same job for 20 years. And I'm lucky if after like five years, I'm still there. I think most jobs, I'm like three and done. But for a whole lot of reasons. Again, if you're not going to pay people and you're not going to promote people, why, why should people stay? Actually, you know what? In education, I've been with Pearson. I've been with Pearson for, jeez. I've been with them for 11 years. been with ETS for seven years. Impressive. I correct myself. 
I'm a, I only say that jobs where they pay me. Gee, isn't isn't that such a simple thing? Um, and Cody comes out. Uh, Seth interrupts. Then Ezekiel's in the ring. And now comes Kevin Owens and the Usos show up. So this sets up the main event match, and we'll get to that later. Uh, the first match was Bianca Belair versus Sonya Deville. And this goes exactly how you think it would go if it's a authority figure versus a wrestler. So Bianca Belair won like three times. Um, starts off a classic head headlock situation. Headlock off the ropes, drop kick. Basic stuff. Sonya sent, got sent over the desk. The ref hit the 10 for the 10 count. And so Sonya Deville is counted out, but yeah, she's an authority figure. She ain't going to get counted out. She's like, oh, this is a no count out match. So they brawl a little bit on the outside. Sends Bianca into the barricade. Um, hits Bianca Belair in the head with a chair. Referring to, said, hey, you can't do that. Ding, 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 ding. Ring the bell. Bianca Belair won a second time. Two. She won twice. And then Sonya Deville said, no, you can't DQ me. Uh, uh, this is a no DQ match. You know what I say? Boo, Sonya Deville. Boo. Boo. Boo, Sonya Deville. I will always boo Sonya Deville. I think we were talking on chat. Uh, when was the last time Sonya Deville won? I think it was when she was in NXT. That was a while ago. And that was against my princess, Kimberly. Again, I still remember that. I'll give you the, the evil death eye. The, I curse. Yes. This is how you curse someone. The only eye of the... Curse you, Sonya Deville may never win. Boo, Sonya Deville, too. Um, so that was noted qualification. She, she calls on Carmella and her flunky, Zelina Vega. Um, Bianca eventually has to come back from getting beat up by all three of them. It's literally a three-on-one. She's a DDT on the chair. Then she knocks Vega off the ring. She knocks, she bounces off the ropes. That's enough to knock Carmella off the ring and Carmella should not be wearing white anymore uh, if she is it's because it's, it's stained by some bodily secretion that's also white but yeah um, and she hit the KOD on Sonya on Boo Sonya Deville Bianca Belair won three times you know what this is a Boo Sonya Deville match it's a can of soup match Mike, so this is what I rushed her on for. Let me go text some friends first. But then we had our next, we had the Edge, we had um, Sonya um, denies Carmella and Vega the championship. They obviously did not hold up to their end of the bargain. She slaps Selena Vega, and then she slapped Carmella. But Carmella probably enjoyed that. And she'll probably wind up slapping Corey later anyway. And he'll enjoy that. Oh. Yeah. Then we had a Edge and Damian Priest promo. That's just weird. Um, the next match we had was Veer versus Sam. Sam Smothers. Not related to Tracy Smothers. Uh, so here, let me, let me recap this match quickly. It was one big boot sent to the turnbuckle. Big clothesline. The cervical clutch. And that was it. Um, eventually, he beats him up a little bit more. Dropped him on a table. Put the cervical clutch on the table. Probably hurts more. Who knows? They're making that announce table a lot sturdier, though. Um, Veer obviously won in a squash match. Still fairly entertaining. And it was quick. Made people, it's going to make people feel fear Veer. You know what? Yeah, ham sandwich match. And a little Bobby Lashley promo, followed by Omos, and 
Well, no, not yet, but soon. Um, then it was Omos versus Bobby Lashley. Arm wrestling. Bobby Lashley won. You know what? It was pretty good. I thought for a moment there, Omos was going to win. They did good. They, they made pro rest, pro, and they made arm wrestling inside pro wrestling match where you had your ebbs and flows of it. Bobby Lashley won ham sandwich. And of course, Omos jumps Bobby Lashley, beats him with probably the cushiest, softiest padding from the table. So yeah. Um, then we had our mixed tag match. We had Dana Brooke and Reggie taking on Akira Tozawa and Tamina. Reggie and Tozawa start off. Uh, good arm drags. Reggie's learning learning the ropes. Um, he's done drop kicks. He does his kip ups. Now he's learning how to do arm drags. Good progression. Eventually, he takes in Dana Brooke. So I tags in Tamina. There was like almost a kissing moment between Dana Brooke and Tamina. That probably would have been the highlight of the show. Yeah, there was no kiss. Slipper the tongue. The tongue. It's all about the tongue. And I'll tell you what, uh, they tagged out. Reggie got back in. Tozawa's back in for his team. I'll tell you what. Tozawa impressed me. I forgot he could do wrestling moves. I thought he was only good at roll-ups, but no. He did that flying senton. He got some ups on that. That was good. Yeah. If, if there was that lesbianic smooch, it would have been better. But you know what? It was a ham sandwich match. And Becky Lynch came out. She's all weird. She's all depressed. Her hair is not brightly orange. It's turning blonde. Um, she's realizing being a mommy, she, she can't do all the hair stuff. She has a cut, um, kind of weird where it's cut. How do I explain it? She has like the long hair in front of the ears. Her ear is exposed and that's long backwards. It looked like something out of, um, there's an old cartoon for you, Exo Gears. Exo Suits. Exo, no, Exo Squad. You know how to do with Exo something. But yeah, Exo Squad. Again, the way they would have like their hair just made so weird. Oh, come here, bug. I got you. I'll get you, bug. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, she, with her sunglasses, she looked all depressed. She's looking skinny and skinnier every time I see her. I don't know. Normally, women put on weight when they come into NXT and WWE. She's losing weight. She's the reverse effect there. Like, I know an impact... I mean, Ty Valkyrie looked to be in great shape. Um, Tanelle Dash would lost her boobas. Even on um, What's-Her-Face, Ty Conti's chest looks smaller. Who else was the other girl from? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Vanessa Bourne. She, 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 she's been wearing clothes. It's just so weird. But, yeah. So, but the, the good news, Asuka's back. And in full Asuka outfit. Asuka, she looks like she's in tremendous shape again. So, that's awesome to see. Very happy to see Asuka. Because Becky Lynch is not ready for Asuka. Asuka's going to be the linchpin that sends Becky Lynch creening into madness. Yes! Um, all of the way her husband dresses her, who knows. Then we had Finn Balor, the real rock and roller. Taking on Damien Priest. Um, Finn again, has a flying form, the chops in the corner. The sling blade, he still has a pretty good looking sling blade. Uh, Finn, he did get caught though, however, by Damien Priest in the corner. Gets chokeslammed eventually. Make a long story short, Priest hits the final reckoning on Finn Balor. Um, Damien Priest wins. Okay, match. Ham sandwich match. Then we have the Miz. Miz TV. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. 
Uh, he had Austin Theory there. And then Mustafa Ali showed up. Whoa. Two surprises without being announced surprises. You didn't have Vince McMahon and say, Oh, we have a major announcement. Asuka showed up. Her music hit. People went bonkers. Well, people people were very happy. Mustafa Ali's music hit. People were mildly surprised. I wasn't like, wow, I thought he left. That's always good to see. Uh, so then we have The Miz versus Mustafa Ali because Austin Theory, also known as Theory, said that, yeah, but I just texted Mr. McMahon. This match is good. So we have The Miz versus Mustafa Ali. The Miz, again, the, head, the headlock master. Um, kind of classic start there. Ali, he tries his comeback. Every time Ali tried to start his comeback, he was always foiled by Miz. Again, good classic wrestling tropes. Miz hits the chops. Ali has chops of his own. Ali then wins by a roll-up. He was tricky. So, you know what? Again, good solid match. Good way to bring Ali back. Ham sandwich match. And then Tommaso Ciampa jumps Ali. And he's just called Ciampa. Whoa. Then there was the Rhea Ripley interview. Um, yeah, she has to cover up her, her under boob tattoos because they're just ugly. They're very geiger -esque, Not very feminine. I don't know if that's her thing, but it's not my thing. So, yeah. And Liv Morgan then jumps her. They're, they'll eventually probably have a match. That'll probably won't be one of the opening matches of over there at Backlash. Oh, even whatever. I'm sorry for you. I was up early. I got paid my ninety nine fifty. I made money, made a little bit more money, did my grocery shopping, then I tranquiloed. So yeah, and, and then I had a big leftover meal, so just kind of out of it. I need to get this video. Oh yeah, and about that, this probably will be. This probably won't be up till sometime, probably Tuesday night, Wednesday morning ish, just to give you guys some fair warning. So if you're looking for your thank yous, they are on the way. It's, and then starting a new job, I don't want to have the computer going bonkers. So that's the last thing I need are technical issues on the first day of an at-home job. Then we had our main event of the evening. We had Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, Matt Riddle, and Ezekiel taking on the Usos, Seth freaking Rollins, and Kevin Steen. I mean Kevin Owens. Uh, Ezekiel, for the most part, jumps Kevin Owens. It's a brawl. The faces hold the ring. They have the King of the Mountain advantage. Zeke has the big boots, the backslides, the delayed suplex, which looked great on Seth Rollins. Um, then Riddle came in for the assisted floating bro. Jey Uso off the ropes. He sent uh, Riddle off the ropes. It's Samoan and drop. Uso's uh, Cody Rhodes gets in. The Uso's wishbone Cody Rhodes. Kind of a throwback. To when heels always did that back in the day and death there wrestled. Yes, I'm looking down upon you, son. You better throw some of my old move sets down there. I'll be upset at you. And you get up here to them Brad Purdy Gates. Yeah, uh, Zeke hit, gets a hot tag. Again, good comeback. He had a good looking spine buster. And I heard someone yell kick out. It's probably Kevin Owens. He's such a great talker. To, um,. Uh, Seth Rollins, Riddle hit an exploder suplex. Seth hit a revert, reverse superplex, or an inverted superplex. That looked pretty. Again, if that was me, you just see that mat getting closer and closer, and me not screaming. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! Um, Kevin Owens hit that senton from the top. Uh, then Orton... That's the hot tag, the snap body slams. He drops two of them up on the t up on the table. Uh, hits an RKO on everyone. Randy Orton, man. I hear voices in my head. They talk to me. They counsel me. They understand. Yep. RKO is for everyone. Of course, the faces win. Randy Orton has a moment in the sun. Hopefully he RKO'd Cody Rhodes as well to make the people go home doubly happy. 
And that was and this match, you know what? This was a good match. Cheeseburger match. Whenever I see RKO's, RKO's out of nowhere, that's always happy. Let me figure out stuff here. Wow, there's plenty of charge. Let me get my, my pad, paper ready. Tomorrow, I'll move that microphone. So that microphone can stay there. Um, yeah, everything but video is done. I'll get that done tomorrow. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. A little news and notes. Tomorrow I'll be live streaming NXT. Probably something that this video will go up. It just depends on work. I'll probably live stream AEW. Um, Thursday. I probably won't be doing an Impact show. Impact's really weird. When they... Right after a pay-per-view, generally like... On TV, they do like a best of the pay per view thing. So I'm probably not going to do a show that night. Instead, there will be some predictions. I'll have, I'll have, uh, I'll have that. My house will smell like a Mexican whorehouse again. But I'll have El Vagabundo talk about Triple Mania. Um, yeah, Triple Mania chapter, I guess he calls it Uno, One, I don't know, Once, Catorce. Who knows? I don't speak Spanish. But, and then Friday, I should be live streaming SmackDown. Um, again, it depends how happy I'm feeling. I might do Dynamite instead. And then Saturday, El Vagabundo will be hosting for Triple Mania. I might make an appearance. Probably eat his Mexican food because it is tasty. Maybe a couple of his women, too. But, yeah. I'll be Triple Mania. I'll probably be showing that event. If they want to zonk me, 